This is a quick video to show some of the troubleshooting I went through in order to get multiple trains working with the powered up system and the official remote control. In this example, I'm using three hubs, one in the cargo train and one in each end of the passenger train. The first issue I had, even with just one hub connected, was if I used the minus button to slow to a stop, sometimes the motor would still hum when it was supposed to be stopped. I didn't get any footage of this unfortunately, but I believe it was fixed by updating the firmware since that problem hasn't showed up since then. It's a good idea to do so anyway, so let's do that. You must have a device with low energy Bluetooth. I tried a few different devices and only my latest phone had this ability. Simply open up the Powered Up app and connect the hub. As long as you have an internet connection, it will begin updating if the hub is not the latest version. Once that is out of the way, let's connect some hubs. I'll start by resetting each device just to make sure we don't have any issues. This makes the unit forget the last device it was connected to. With the hub turned off, hold down the button until the light starts flashing purple. I'll do this with each hub I want to connect to the controller. And don't forget to reset the controller as well. Connecting the first hub is easy. Just press the button once on each device, and they should link up and the LED should turn solid green. Connecting multiple hubs is where I had issues. It may take a few tries to get the timing right. With the first hub connected, press and hold the button on the remote and double press the button on the next hub, holding it down for the second press. The second hub should connect and turn solid green. If you aren't quick enough, the remote will turn off. After you have all the hubs connected, you may experience a strange bug where the trains will act erratically. I only saw this when first connecting the hubs. Resetting the controller made this issue go away. Once the devices are connected, they should remember each other and will link up in the same way the next time they are all powered on. This is the best procedure I could find to connecting additional hubs. I didn't see any info on this on the LEGO website. Keep in mind, there isn't an easy way to reverse a motor electrically if you want to train with powered locomotives on each end. I turned the motor around physically and ran the wire through the back of the train. I hope this helps someone having the same issues I had. I'm really disappointed in LEGO for not providing clear instructions on how to use their products. Comment below if you have any questions or anything you would like to add, and remember to play well.